Good morning. It is time for the Pioneer Update. This is Megan Renahan with the Batesville School District. The Pioneer Update is brought to you by Citizens Bank. They are people first, which is great because we are students first. This morning, I have Miss Alicia Davidson. She's the director of choirs. Good morning. Good morning. So you've had a lot of great things going on with your junior high and high school choir. Just give us a little bit of an update. Absolutely. So we have recently been in competition season, individual competitions for our kids, and they are competing to earn a spot in the all region choirs. So they go in and sing individually all by themselves and if they place high enough they get to sing in the compiled choir from lots of different schools in the all-region choir so from senior high we had 24 students make it into that choir and 17 of them are going to be uh, eligible to audition for the all-state choir and then in our junior high program we also had 17 students qualify and participate in that ensemble that is awesome well we were so proud of them and what i love is i'm seeing some of the same names as last year and some of them are seniors and so that's very exciting for them to get to be a part of that absolutely yeah yeah and then uh tell us what else is going on because the next thing you're about to announce is a huge mic drop absolutely so we recently had another individual competition for a large organization it's the southwestern american choral directors association and every other year they put together a choir from seven different states including arkansas and we actually had 10 students accepted to that and so in february of 2024 they'll be going to denver colorado to sing in that honor choir and participate with students from all over the seven states and conductors from all over the world. If I remember, we got to have our junior high choir a couple years ago participate this as a whole, and wasn't there only like four schools selected out of the entire country? Yes, so as a part of that conference, they have they invite choirs to sing and perform for the choir directors, and so we sang for the conference two years ago in Little Rock in the 2022 SWACTA. Um, this is the honor choir, so it's a part of the conference, but it's student-focused, and the choirs that are invited are for the directors themselves to to learn from and hear from and just to get feedback and inspiration for the future for their own choirs. Very prestigious. Absolutely. Such a high honor. Well, we're so proud of y'all. And then with that comes a lot of funding. So yes. y'all are going to be accepting donations. Yes. Each student is responsible for fundraising their own. We as a choir organization, of course, want to help support them. And so we're facilitating different fundraisers. We'll be hopefully caroling around the community. So if we have any business sponsors that would like to have a caroling group brought into them, we would absolutely love to do that for them for a donation. And then each individual student is also taking donations for the month of December. That is wonderful. So if they want to participate in that, how do they get a hold of you? You can get a hold of me by emailing at adavidson at gobsd1.org or you can call me at 870-612-4216. Awesome. And then just to top it all off, when Joel's of coming like concert, when they can come in, maybe maybe try you out before they hire yeah. you. <laughs> Absolutely. If you want to come get a taste of what the choir has to offer for you, our next concert will be at UACCB on December the 12th, 6 p.m., and that'll be for grades 6 through 12, so you'll get to hear our beginners all the way up to our most advanced choirs. That is a must-attend event because it really kind of gets me into the Christmas spirit, (laughs) so I always love going to that. I might be a little biased, but it's one of my favorite things to celebrate around the holidays, just those more familiar tunes um, that people in the community are more familiar with, but always with a new interesting twist. Well, Miss Alicia, thank you so much for joining us. You are doing a phenomenal job with our students, and we appreciate everything you do. And like we always say, it's a great day to be a pioneer.